Hello, my name is Victoria Rose. As you guys may know, leave a like if you're seeing this. As I've said before, YouTube only shows me to you. So <laughs> today I'm going to venture into New York City. Uh, the first challenge is going to be getting a bus. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I loathe buses with a passion. I hate them. But I have to get a bus because I have no ride there. And it's very difficult to get into New York City and Uber is way too expensive. And then, to make matters more intense, I'm going to get my whole spine tattooed. I hope you guys will enjoy this journey. I'll show you what it's like to get your spine tattooed. I don't know what a spine tattoo feels like because I've never had my back tattooed. My back is completely non-tattooed, except I have like a small dinosaur on my neck. But besides my neck, I've never got my back tattooed. I obviously have a lot of other tattoos, but it's been a long time since I've gotten a biggish tattoo. I didn't really know what to wear for this type of tattoo, so I wore something that I can untie in the back, and then I wore low-rise pants, which is not really my usual attire, but it's gonna go all the way down here, so I wanna make sure that my pants, you know, whatever. I'm also gonna put on this shirt because it's cold outside. Not today, Plague. I haven't really taken you guys on a solo trip into New York City because I haven't actually done, well, I've done it once. I'm gonna go stress about this for a second now, then I'll update you when I hopefully get on the bus. The first thing I have to do is, I just got a text I didn't wanna get. Uh... Sorry, okay. I'm gonna, I have to have, I have to get the fare on an app first. there. I got on the bus with no problems actually, which is really surprising to me. Um, it works. <laughs> so now I'm on my way to the tattoo shop. I'll update you when I get there. Yeah. Alright, so I made it here. I'm in Skin Trade Tattoo. And we're going to do my tattoo here. So I'm really excited. I don't know how bad it's gonna hurt, but we'll see. They're just doing this setup right now. So I'm gonna try something a little bit different here. This dinosaur right under it. I think it even, I think it even go into the dinosaur. I don't remember what it looks like actually. What does this dinosaur look like? I don't really it's see it. Yeah, you can just like go straight in. I know this may be kind of strange, but I was thinking about it and audio and sensory sounds can be really soothing for some people and I know that they are for me. So I'm trying this out and if you don't like it, leave a comment below. But I'd like to put ambient white noise sounds over top of kind of chaotic sounds just to make it more relaxful and peaceful. Going this way so, that so I'm doing that over this tattoo experience for you guys because getting tattooed can be kind of stressful and I hope this isn't too dystopian. <laughs> wondered what goes into getting a tattoo. First they have to shave any hair that might be in the area and then they put down this wet stuff that helps the stencil to stick on and then you find the correct placement and then you can begin tattooing after you get it just right. Really? Yeah, I, never, I never see like my back so I hate looking at this. But it's no, it's straight here. No, no, wait. It's, it's like her, her curve. I might, maybe I have scoliosis. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's bodies are a bit disproportionate in ways. Mine is a little bit more curved, maybe than average, but it's okay. We made it work. The only color for this is gonna be black, so it's pretty simple. I 
I've had some very, very painful tattoos and probably way more painful emotional experiences. <laughs> so this tattoo was not painful at all for me, and especially because I was pretty comfortable having, getting to lay down. But uh, yeah, so my review on spine tattoos pain levels, it's not too bad. The tattoo process itself only took like an hour it's a very simple design and there's not like a ton of shading, so it went by really quickly. And now I have a back tattoo. And they put on a little bit of healing ointment and some plastic to cover it for the night, and you're done. All right, so I just got home. I took the bus and I made it again. I'm so proud of myself for that. On pain levels, I wasn't sure what to expect with a spine tattoo. And since it was such a kind of a thin line, it wasn't so bad. And uh, I've definitely had more painful tattoos than the spine. Yeah. But I'll show you the healing process of it. I also got from them, like, usually I use Aquaphor on my tattoos, but I didn't feel like going to the store to get some right after getting a tattoo because I already had to walk through New York and go home on the bus. But um, so they gave me some of this, which is uh, natural. So let's open it and see. So you just put this on. Big shout out to Skin Trade Tattoo. You guys can get their link below if you're in New York. It's a good thing that I'm not a back sleeper. For once, I'm grateful about that because I know back sleeping is more healthy, but in this case, I'll still be able to hopefully sleep. Good morning, so I literally just got up um, and I wanted to do a little tattoo update. Of, I don't know what it looks like back there, but like I was, I was asleep on my side, so it's not really a huge issue. But let's see. Also, my back had, I didn't know this either, it has a little curvature in it. So it was kind of hard to get the line completely straight. Straight enough. <laughs> good enough. It's good enough. So, yeah, um, I think I'm going to take this plastic off and then I'll put the cream stuff on it. Or I'll leave it on. I don't know. Oh, I feel it crispy. Instead. Okay, so I just got a shower and I just kind of gently washed the tattoo a little bit and I'm going to put on my ointment, which is all natural. Where are you at? <laughs> Uninformed about what my back is like. Maybe I have a minor case of scoliosis. The whole scoliosis. And I says makes me special. I'll update you later. Hey, so it's been more than a week that I've had this tattoo now. Also, just excuse my back. You know what? I, like, I thought I would have grown out of this by now, but I haven't, okay? We're not perfect. I'm trying to do like a, a pose that actually looks good, but like, I'm honestly not a huge fan of my back. I don't like to show it off. It's not really something I have to deal with or have to see. So, um,. My inspiration for this was um, kind of like a cyberpunky type of. I just wanted just a, just a line, just very simple. And then we added a, a couple small lines on the sides just to kind of make it look maybe kind of like some, like cyborgish or something. But yeah. there's not really much to say about it. There's no meaning. You can come up with a meaning you want in the comments, and I'll consider putting a meaning on it. But it doesn't happen. <laughs> so I hope that you guys enjoyed that process and leave some comments and likes. Um, let me know any other tattoo ideas you think would look cool on me. I'm always open for say extraterrestrial. I love you guys very, very much. And I will see you in the next video. Who knows what that will entail. Bye.